Welcome to GC Cars, my name is Eric. And I'm Jesse. And today we're off for testing the GMC Sierra 84X. Let's do some Baja running, right? Oh, yeah. So, uh, obviously this is a little more meant for the trail and for the fast Baja style off-roading, but just like the ZR2, this is actually still surprisingly capable. So we have some pretty big uh, ruts, as you'll see in our B-roll here. And right now, I'm pretty easily taking this at 50. We're almost going 60. Um, I, I like I don't have the confidence that I do in a Raptor, right? This is a, like a Raptor is intensely more capable in uh, Baja running, but- oh, This is still pretty good. Like, it's actually very flat right now. It's very smooth. And yeah. if, I hard, if I do hard braking, like it stays straight. It struggles a little on the brakes. But handle, that, handle that surprisingly well, actually. Yeah, and just for reference, we literally have a Raptor R parked just up there. Um, we're doing a dual review today. So of course we have a reference point right <laughs> now. It's quite the reference point. Right, uh, let's center right here and then go to what I call club. Why do I call it club? Because what's in front of a club? What's in front of a club, Jesse? A ball. A ball? <laughs> club? Oh, no, not that club. The club party whoop, whoop club. A club. What's in front of a party club? A line. Well, what's, who's a, a, a bouncer. bouncer? A bouncer, exactly. Because right <laughs> here, we are bouncing. And bouncing, we are oh. pretty good. Mm -hmm. Getting that front end off the ground. Oh. And it, it just kind of just takes it, you know? It doesn't really care that much. Yeah. And then we power out. Oh, wow. And. I gotta be honest, like, yes, it's not a Raptor, but hey, it ain't that far. It's very confident in these moves. No like, I have grip. 65, slide 70, okay. Okay, but I think, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm slowing it down a little bit. I don't want to go faster than 70. That's where my confidence gap is here. Huh. Uh, still fairly capable though, surprisingly. Surprisingly. But next test will be articulation and very slow kind of twisties. So 45 okay. degree hills. Pretty much. That's <laughs> that over there. All right, now in the mountain bike ATV area. We're surrounded by ATV. Yeah, right now. they kind of let us uh, do a little pass here. Usually it's not really meant for trucks, but we like to test trucks at their limits. And this is where sort of some of the uh, some of the articulation comes in and some of the cameras come in really handy because this has like such a These cameras wide are awesome. Cameras. Like, like, <laughs> it's just brass. And it's just really good. <laughs> And it just takes it off. So we also have the AEV edition, right? Yes. Yeah, do you want to quickly want to talk about what this does? It's basically a protection package. You get steel right. front bumper, you get skid plates, you get rocker rails. Right, fuel uh, tank protection. Fuel tank protection, different rims. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's really a protection package for like 8K or something. Eight or 9,000. It's quite a lot of money. Um, if you're going to off-road, you definitely Probably want, want the package or maybe save money and do it yourself if you, you know, if you're resourceful. Yeah. But either way, you want this kind of protection. Yeah, and we might probably need this here because right now we're in what I call Daytona because we got our high bank and corner, 20 degrees. Like we got to make sure our rear comes around, but thanks to wow. all these cameras, 23 degrees, I can easily, this guy's filming us. <laughs> I can easily uh, go through here and now, oh, that sounds that great. That was a nice little scratch. I love that sound. Get a good paint protection on your truck, guys. And now we can go through the, uh, these hills here and it does so well like we have plenty of articulation we have plenty of movement and travel in our suspension which we're going to find out and test even more on the big trail <laughs> let's go all right i'm going to swap her into terrain mode which is our like rock crawling kind of slow off-roading mode straight go back to our cameras of course because this is going to be the test of the tests this is where we actually need the cameras yes this is where i uh, bumped the silverado zr2 this is where i bumped the uh, Bronco Sport and ripped off some of the plastic out of some of the bottom cladding. Just a terrible driver. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> this is also where I want to open the windows because uh, we <laughs> we'll probably need to uh, look out here. Clearly, I mean our cameras are nice, but sometimes you just need to have that different perspective, right? So first of all, uh, gotta be a little careful. We do have, of course, the 6.2 liter V8 in here. 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque with a 10-speed automatic, and I love that drive track. Very smooth. It is incredibly smooth. Like up here, it's not struggling. It's a very uh, kind of long pedal, 
so you do have to give it a bit of gas but that allows you to fine tune i'd prefer that right for it's this not kind like, of driving it's, it's not like where you just like poof, suddenly you have a lot of gas okay holy and we are getting 14 degrees up, here. up 12 degrees 13 degrees sideways this trail has definitely gone a little more treacherous um it's by the way, by the way we, when we're talking about the silver out of whoops back nature uh, we did review the zr2 well i did review the zr2 uh, so as a reference point, which is it's kind of the same truck at the end of the day, but we're going to talk about that in the conclusion a little more before we uh, crawl our way up here. Let's put on these mirrors because it is getting tight in here. Go back to our front camera. One big thing they fixed from when I was in the Silverado is my cameras actually stay there. In the Silverado, even in off-road modes, my cameras would disappear if I go like over five kilometers an hour. Which makes no sense. Exactly. It's like, especially with this, like, I don't see anything out of there. Come, give me, give me some, give me some power. Thank you. So this is a very welcome change. Very welcome adapt, uh, adaptation there. You know, we got to be careful on my rear. Come on. And a little over. And drop the rear. There we go. Okay. Wow, it's tight here. It is really tight. <laughs> Gotta watch out that we don't get slapped. Oh so the, yeah, you can hear those scratches. Mm. Now here's our first little test. Good paint protection is important for this. So this is where <laughs> we have to be completely by eye side essentially because our mirrors have to be in. So you gotta lean out here a little bit. Luckily we have these handles, which do help. I just gotta loosen my belt if it can let me go. Because I gotta clear that rud. How am I looking on the right hand side? You're clear here. You're okay. this is as far as you can go to the right. I wouldn't go any further than that. Okay, so that's Keep it straight here. A little bit left. A little bit left, gotcha. Okay, we're clearing the rut. Oh, lots of branches here. One yeah, sec. I'm trying Keep to go around. Holy. Okay. And pulled it through. And wonderful. Okay, that was good. Holy. <laughs> These cameras are definitely very helpful, but nothing beats uh, having a co pilot. Now, though, we go to the Test. Let's see. Four wheel drive high. We have front and rear lockers. Do we need them? I don't think we're going to need them, but this is a pretty steep little incline here. And it was a little muddy earlier today, so let's split this. And come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay, you know what? Let's use it. We have it. Let's go into four low. Let's go diff locks just for this short section here. All right, we have diffs log, we're in four low, and now much more effortless. There we go. Like butter. Just gotta keep it within the trail. And that's something that some of the competitors, like the Raptor, like a Tremor, do not offer is our front locking diff. So for rock crawling, for really treacherous trails, this uh, does have a bit of a leg up on those. Now we got to crawl across these rocks. And we got to really manage our speed. Um, let's see, come on. <laughs> of course, we aired down on our tires. 35 inches is what we're working with. And definitely here it all working, but it's doing it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Four kilometers an hour. Five. Oh, good. I can see it all through my cameras. And up we go. Wasn't really much of a challenge for this uh, truck, to be honest. It does pretty well, eh? Let's turn off these lockers. Go into four high. Let it go below and get into neutral. And we're back into four high. No. And finish off this trail. A few big rocks up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like it, it never translates really on video, I'm afraid. Well, of course, we're gonna do our best, but this is, uh, this is not the easiest of trails, even though we, this, this Sierra does with deal with it pretty well it's just a lot of tight and maneuvering and articulation and needed 
All right. Victory. Woo! And turning her around, watching the beautiful fall scenery. But I think this is maybe a good time to start talking about the conclusion and kind of the value that this 84X gives us. So first of all, let's start with the price. We're just over, just under 109,000, correct? Like yes. For the AEV Canadian. edition. Canadian. Yes. yes, so that is the AEV edition. We do, there are some options we don't have. So we don't have adaptive cruise control. We don't have active lane centering. So those are things you can still kind of get on top, but. So without, without the AEV, it's about 100K. It's about 100K, which is kind of a lot of money. It's kind of a lot of money. And, and if you're going to get this version of this vehicle, Without the AEV, I just it's just not as capable, right? Yeah, it's, it's still like, capable. I, but like, I want that protection. Like, right. If I'm really off roading, like, right. I'm not risking ripping my fuel tank in the middle yep. of the mountains or the trails. And like, everything's gotten a bit more expensive since we since a few years since we've tested some of these stuff. But like, the ZR2, the Chevy ZR2, is about 10k less, mechanically identical, interior wise, very very similar. It's the same screens and all that. It might not be quite as nice. It doesn't have the massaging seats we have in here. Fair enough. But I don't think this is close enough to an Al Denali Ultimate for me to really be like, hey, this has the GMC difference. Mm -hmm. So then I might just tell you, you know what? If you're looking for a Chevy truck, just save 10K. I like a GM truck. Save 10K. And get the Sierra. Uh, get, sorry, get the Silverado, right? Or step or... it up a few K and get the Off-Road King the f-150 raptor which is what 110 it's about 110,000. and you can option it up a little bit right that's, i think the base is 105. right and that's uh 35 inch just like this yeah. one has we have the better suspension with the multimatic suspension uh we have definitely more baja capabilities yes we don't have front loggers yes we don't have as many cameras or heads up display but it's just, and it, it's a nice car too. Like it's, it's not as like the interior isn't quite as nice, but it's very comfortable. Very comfortable, it's, and it has it has the presence on the road. Oh People God, look at the Raptor, they so know it's weird. a Raptor. It's something special. Right. So that's where I'm like, eh. oh, I'm just gonna. How are we looking on the right hand side? I'm just trying to avoid that one piece of law. Like we're clear on the right. Okay. Oh, the GoPro's gonna take this one. Oh, the GoPro's gonna take this one pretty bad. Oh my God, this is gonna be nasty. Sorry, GoPro. I love you. Okay, I am stuck <laughs> sitting on something. I don't know what I'm sitting on though. Cameras, what am I sitting on? Oh, my wheels are a lot. Okay, let me. The wheels kind of got a lot of angle here, so I gotta unlock it. Oh, yeah, that was the rut. Okay, so we gotta get over this rut. I gotta put in my mirrors. I told you it's not an easy trail, especially not in a truck. And now we're good. Here. Yeah, so, okay, this might be a tiny bit more capable on the, like, extreme trails and rock crawling, but the Raptor is so much more versatile in terms of its off-roading capabilities. It is faster. Right. Um, arguably nicer looking, but even though this is a, I think this is a beautiful truck, arguably yes. the Raptor has more of a presence. It's oh, wide body. sure, sure, it does. That was amber lights just look insane. Now. For the off, off of off-roading for daily driving, which I think is something, should we talk about that? Yeah, you know, we should, we should. So first of all, kind of differences in terms of usability, towing capacity, 500 pounds more, 8,700 pounds here versus 8,200 on the default a, Raptor. Also a stiffer suspension, which the Raptor suspension may be a yes. downside for towing. Yeah, so this would probably tow a little nicer. We have like a tiny bit longer, tiny bit deeper bed. So this is a bit different. Um, and it's a very, it's, this is a very nice daily driver. Like I love this as a daily. It's great. And, and fuel mileage will also be less on this. It'll also be less, like what are we getting? Like 14, yeah. 13, 14 liters? Of course now we're off running. It's going to be crap, but <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm just like, like it's a great truck. I like this truck a lot and we're going to get a lot of articulation here. But for the price of a Raptor, I'm just going to say get the Raptor. Or if you want to have bit of the daily practicality that that might have over Raptor, get a Silverado ZR2 because it's 10k less and it's the same truck. So I'm like, mm. for like, me, the only reason you get this over the Raptor is if, like, let's say you're, you're a construction worker, you're using this for work. I think this works better as a work truck. Yes. Personally. Right. Okay. But then you could also look at the, at the ZR2 as well. That, and you might look at Tremors, which can tow even more. Yeah. So I was like, like, 
It's in a weird spot. It's a bit of in a weird spot. It's a very good truck. I like it a lot. It is undoubtedly capable both off-road as well as on-road. But, you know, that Raptor is really looking at us right now. Uh, we're, we're literally looking at the Raptor. It's just so Raptor, sexy. So, yeah. <sighs> Let us know, though. Which would you pick? Do you think for the same price you'd take the Raptor over the 84X or in reverse, which may be safe 10K, get the ZR2? Let us know and um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the bell, like, subscribe, drop a comment, love us, hate us. We want to hear it all. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye. See ya.